When he was at school, he was an, an academic child. <laughs> <laughs> and I really, Thanks. I didn't really see him becoming the man he is. So the, for me, it was a very interesting development. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe Casey Hayford. I'm uh, designed for the brand Casey Hayford. And my name's Charlie Casey Hayford, and I design with my father. And we've been based in the East End of London for um, basically for 30 years. The cultural influences are, are so rich in this area of London, and we've always found that a great inspiration for our collection. We kind of felt it would be very interesting to develop a brand which reflected the crossing point between English sartorialism and British anarchy. The best pieces we've produced can be worn by Charlie or, or by myself. I think the transgenerational aspect is really um, an important element. I grew up in the studio and my parents, they both met St Martin's when they were 21, so I've always been in this environment and I guess it was just a natural evolution. Generally, um, our design process is the strongest man wins. <laughs> <laughs> we argue a lot, but we get we get through it every evening and it's, uh, it's quite a rewarding process. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of the beauty is the, the tension which exists when we're developing collections. I, I think that's what's quite interesting is that we come at it from quite a different perspective but the end goal is the same. Each garment has a very long story behind it. So I, I'd like to hope that people can see that each one mm. kind of has this memory, I guess. As like a young kid, I was going to these shows in Paris, and, and it's just like, this is not normal. <laughs> this is not, not what you do when you're 12. Having my first suit made when I, I don't even think mm, I could walk, you, right? Uh, 18 months, yeah. yeah. We did a shoot for a magazine. And yeah, just all these amazing experiences. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up, uh, I just really didn't get it. And, and like my dad would give me these clothes, and I was just like, man, I'm getting bullied at school. Is, they're just so advanced. So I'd like put them in, in my wardrobe for four years and then I'd bring them out when they seemed a little bit more normal. <laughs> but <laughs> he still tries to do that with the designs I've produced today. <laughs>